back to another show of my abuela's kitchen and here she is once again. Today we're making quesadillas, not your regular quesadillas where you just throw the tortilla in the grill, throw some cheese in there, but we're making it from scratch. And so, uh, ¿cómo le llamas a estas quesadillas, abuela? Quesadillas rancheras. Quesadillas rancheras. And there's a special twist to this quesadilla and we're going to show you right when we tell you what the ingredients are. Masa, flor de calabaza, pueden usar diferentes quesos, queso cotija, queso panela, queso fresco del que sea, del que les guste, le pueden echar. So if you guys don't have a homegrown uh, zucchini farm, which not too many of us do, you can buy these flowers um, at a regular Mexican store like Superior, uh, Cárdenas, different, different places where they have like traditional Mexican um, grocery. The first step is actually putting the masa and just kneading it until it gets a little soft. ¿Qué tan suave tiene que estar la masa? Buena, no más como para que se pueda hacer la tortilla. Okay, so here she is putting some water just to make it a little softer. What we did is we went to the store and just bought regular masa para tortillas. Fina. She didn't add any salt, she didn't add any ingredients. All she did was sprinkle some water to make it soft. Right. So the next step is, you saw how she picked the flowers from the zucchini. That is a special secret ingredient, straight out of Mexico. As you can tell, she takes the stem off, and she just has the flower itself. So the next step is making the tortillas, and here she is. Get a little ball like a regular tortilla de harina. No, ya sé que no es de harina, es de maíz, pero tienes que aplastarla poquito, ¿no? No, okay. Okay. So if you were to do it by hand, that's the way you would. If you have the actual tortilla maker, you could also do it here. So as you can tell, she has a plastic covering here, and the reason for this is so the tortilla does not stick to the actual press. Okay, dale abuela, señor con. You put the little ball in there. Okay, so you heat it up a little. No se cocina todo, verdad abuela? Como no se cocina. Ahorita no. Ahorita le vamos a dar una vueltita nomás para que no quede cruda. Okay. So you flip it once because you want to make sure that the inside isn't completely raw. Right. So she's putting some of the flour in there, real flowers, and she's putting a chunk of cotija cheese. Then you flip it over like a regular quesadilla. Aquí está la primera. Miren, qué buena. ¿Lo que estás quemando? No. Y si le echan poquito chilito aquí, está más buena. Mm -hmm. A ver, miren el platito. Y siembra la gente y siembra calabacitas con las flores, así como ¿no? las quesadillas. Yo desde chiquita hasta lo sembraba con pimienta, no me lo comía. I'm not sure if I have the guts to eat one. A ver si me animo a comerme una. Uh, te, tú misma estás diciendo que ver, te animas. Van a decir a todos los tambores. Ahorita pruebo una, pruebo una. Voy a hacer una gordita de queso. Le echamos aunque sea quesito, no y trajimos Chale, chorizo. frijoles, chorizo. Usually you put echamos frijoles, beans, eh, but we didn't have any. Pedacitos de que de este de chile seco doradito en la manteca. Una gordita. So there are two recipes in one. You can make the gordita or you can make the quesadillas. 
chicharrón. Chicharrón. So you can really put whatever you want inside these gorditas. I wasn't sure if I was going to have the guts to actually try these quesadillas because of the flour in there, but I'm going to give it a shot. So she's making me one with chorizo, with the two kinds of cheese, the botica and the panela, and uh, with the flour, of course. So she's making me an extra huge one, extra big one. To make sure all the ingredients fit. It's hot. Tastes good with the flowers. You like it? Mm -hmm. Well, if she can try it, I guess I can try it. taste the, the flour it just adds a little extra like seasoning it has a very Mexican taste very earthy taste again like most Mexican plates have a little earthy taste that's as best as I can describe it you can see the chorizo is in there the cheese and the flour Ooh, it's hot all right, so there you have it, quesadillas mexicanas con flor de calabaza. There you have it, people. If you're interested in making these, they're really simple to make. In minutes, you can make put this together. So uh, try it out. Tell me what you think of that recipe. I know it's a little different and unexpected of the flour to be edible, but it is. And we have, well not me, but she has been eating it for years, my mom has been eating it for years, and they're still alive, so we know that they are edible. And uh, Mexicans in Mexico have eaten it for centuries. Uh, poor man's food made into something, a delicacy. And that concludes the video on making quesadillas. Here's the one she made for herself, just cheese, because we ran out of all of the ingredients. So. Está muy buena. All right, quesadilla ranchera with flor de calabaza. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Calabaza, 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 calabaza. If you're looking for any recipe, let us know. She'll be more than willing to make it if she knows how to make it, of course. So uh, we just want to thank all the viewers, all the subscribers. Thank you for your support. That's the only reason why we make these videos is for you and, of course, for our memory for uh, as a family. ¿Verdad, abuela? Algunas palabras que les quieres decir a los que te han dejado mensajes tan bonitos o algo. Que gracias, mamá. Mm. Yeah. Gracias.